Ghost Whisperer, Season 1, Episode 12, Part 2. Here we go. So she says to me, Marty, you've got to look at the big picture. In a hundred years, none of this will matter and we'll all be dead. Sure, everyone will be dead. So I fire. What are you kidding me? I don't need to take that kind of crap from a therapist. I mean, really, that's what we pay him for, right? Subsidized denial. But you know, she's right. Yes, uh, a human body is not immortal. I mean, let's face it, we're all gonna die. Oh yeah, sure we are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, of course, the physical body will pass, die, and then we will return to our original form, which is energy, officially known as spirit or soul. And you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, and you, sir, in the back, stuffing your face with a cheeseburger, are going to die. Yeah. Yeah, so nobody wants to hear uh, that you're going to die. <clears throat> as much as everyone is afraid of dying, they want to live forever, if you understand um, that Earth, this life, is let's say is it's this uh, the life that we chose we choose uh we choose we chose this life to learn lessons experiences and after that when we pass away that experiences uh joins the collective and uh, from there we decide oh what do we do now do we go back do we become uh, uh spiritual guides yeah so let's let's just say it all together ready okay I'm gonna die! 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 Am I dead? <laughs> Am I dead? Wait a minute, I just walked into your room and went through the walls. Of course, man. <laughs> so, he's an earthbound spirit, confused. He doesn't even know he's dead. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Obviously, he's drenched. Water's all over the place. He's he looks like a zombie, and he's asking, "Am I dead?" I asked you a question. Am I dead? Of course. Um. Very. What's with all the water? I mean, the. Fish tank, the restroom, my floor. I don't know. I can't figure it out. I don't know. I can't figure it out. You're confused. You don't know if you're dead yet. Am I alive? Why is this floor wet? One minute, I'm dying, figuratively, at the club, and the next... What's the last thing you remember? It's hard to say. <sighs> so, he has a huge blank spot. Har I don't know, remember. Hard to say. <laughs> hey. I remember feeling hopeful, but also something really bad. Like the thing is, usually, when I see spirits, they look normal. So what are you saying? I look as bad as I feel? Okay, so... Let me give some context into that. Some of the is like, uh, yeah, usually when I see spirits, they're normal. Uh, when... Okay. Spirits need a lot of energy to manifest themselves. Uh... I don't know why he has not okay maybe he's around bad areas bad people so he's not able to uh, take in or consume as much uh, the energy that is required so um, 
he's still in a certain particular form that he was last in, perhaps? I'm telling you that when a spirit comes to me looking like you do, it usually means that they've had a sudden or very violent death, which is also why you don't remember. So what do I do? <laughs> Can't remember. Confused again. Oh, you're in the wrong place now. You need to cross over. Oh, yeah. My agent said the same thing, but I never needed to appeal to everyone. To the... I meant to cross over to the other side. Look, this all feels like a really big mistake, okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, really big mistake. Look at you. Now, I have to find out what happened to me. Will you help me? I don't think she has a choice. You're just going to bug her. Once the spirit knows that you can see them and they need something, they're going to keep on coming back. And they're going to tell all their friends. And then you have s several spirits bugging you at all times. Oh! Sorry. Oh, the door was open, so... That's all right. Come on in. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about a CD that I listened to last night. Last night really made me laugh. Oh, good. Who was it? Marty Golden? Yeah. It's Peggy Bundy, everybody. He's kind of a sore subject around here. You know, Marty, uh, Marty was the real deal. An original, very complicated guy. He, uh, he came to the club one night. He left and no one ever saw him again. Just about destroyed anybody who ever cared about him. Especially Sandra. Poor kid. Sandra? I really, uh... <laughs> I can't talk about this right now. I, um... I have this mountain of paperwork I have to get to my account. Okay, so obviously there is a backstory that she is very uncomfortable. Uh, Peggy Bundy is very uncomfortable uh, talking about. So you look better. Why? Thank you. I've been dieting. <laughs> Feel better. Well, it happens. Once you start to interact with this world, you start to look a little bit like your old self. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like Belinda just said, uh, you start hanging around the real world, going around. Uh, taking in energy then he starts to manifest what he closely resembled when he was alive minus the weird eyes contact lenses do you remember Sandra Sandra Holloway Sandra wow let's just say we understood each other very well <laughs> She's going to be here tomorrow. We understood each other naked. She's performing at the Comedy Cave. What really happened? I don't remember exactly, but it feels like a lot of pain. <laughs> Do you want me to help you talk to her? Talk to her? You would do that? Will that help you move on? What if I did something bad to her? <laughs> like what, my man? If you really want to know what happened to you... Will you, will you go see her first? This is usually where comics crash when they come to town. I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea. No, you stay here and I'll go up. And he's talking like, I don't know, man, this is a bad idea. We're going to get caught. No, you won't. <laughs> Nobody can see you. That's her. I always wanted to make her laugh. It was the hardest damn thing to do. Well, 
Where's she going? Uh, let's find out. Take a look at the uh, the signs. Sudden death. Hmm. Bridge. <laughs> and let's not forget, we have a confused spirit. Hmm. I think everyone can see what's coming. human beings have rituals right we all, we have to go through the grave give flowers we have to go to church we have to do this thing and now we have to visit uh, the place of someone's demise Watch more. Someone finally... <laughs> oh, that's what happened. This is where it happened. This is where I killed myself. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Um, so, up to this point, uh, we just found out that he is a suicide. Okay, so spiritualists, what we believe. Okay, so there's pure spiritualists and there's this spiritualist that mix re their religion with it. Uh, Catholics, Christians, or whoever. You start mixing the two. And they don't, they don't, <laughs> they don't mix, okay? So the beliefs are different, okay? Most religions will say if you commit suicide, you burn in hell. That's the, you know. It's the most unforgiving sin, right? Remember now, we, uh, as spirits, we decided to enter this certain life. We know what the life that this person that we're entering is going to have. We also know their demise. So the spirit chooses, okay, I need to learn this. I, this looks interesting. Let's enter this life. Enter this life. Live the whole life. They gain the experiences. Wow, this is how it feels. And it knows how it's going to die. It's going to commit suicide. Okay. The lessons it learned, the feelings, the, the emotions, the relationships, that's all gained knowledge and experiences. And when that 
body passes, the spirit is released, and that's new things that this spirit has obtained. Okay. So that's the way it is. No, you're not what's up with my camera? Okay. No, you're not going to burn in hell for all eternity. That is wrong. Uh, if you someone asks, where is hell? There's not much let's see. Uh, you have to look at quantum f uh, physics to really um, differentiate the different dimensions. The, uh, the closest thing that we understand hell to be is the actual earth itself. The place where there's suffering, uh, killing, and a bunch of other bad stuff so that we are numb to. War. Killing of innocents. That is true hell. So based on what we experience and know of right now earth is hell a lot is going on a lot of blood is shed just for profit a lot of blood is shed just for resources I want your land okay so earth is the closest thing we know to hell everything else is just pages in a book that someone else wrote thousands of years ago they had no idea about science and just made up fantastical stories just trying to make sense of it okay. alright so that is all I have to say about this particular uh, episode but I will have uh, part 3 and 4 up in the next coming days I like this short version it's much easier um, and uh, some of you don't like to watch entire 30 minute clip so you know what let's just do smaller ones yeah. alright guys take care bye bye